Hi, I'm Michael Babb, Superintendent of Ventura Unified School District. Every month, the Ventura Unified School District and the City of Ventura recognize an outstanding fifth grader as its mayor for a moment. The program cycles through all the schools in the district. Students submit essays or other creative works on a theme such as kindness, compassion, empathy, understanding, courtesy, or responsibility. The school principals and staff select a young mayor based on their creative work and other individual criteria. A video created by CAPS Media is shown at the City Council to introduce the young mayor who presents his or her creative work. Later in the month, the student is recognized at a Ventura Unified School District Board meeting. The Mayor for a Moment program is a wonderful way for us to celebrate these outstanding young leaders in our schools and in the community, and to highlight these important themes. It is my pleasure to thank and present the Mayor for a Moment, Class of 2016. Stop picking on me because of my religion or my race. I might not have the same name. The Mayor for a Moment is a practice that the City Council's done with Ventura Unified Schools for a number of years. And you know, the Council's always been really supportive in this town of, of our schools and of our school district. We brought two this year just because we happen to have um, uh, a student council president and a student council vice president who um, uh, are twins, number one. and. Um, they rap, you know, I mean, we kind of had to do that. Well, Mr. Turner came up to us and he said, hey, you know, they come to Mount School every like, three or four years and they ask the president, or in this case, the president and the vice president, to come do a rap. Well, to come do a speech, but since we did a rap in our election, that means like we do a rap there, so. It's always fun and it's always a treat for the kids and their families to, to receive the keys to the city. Um, to get to shake the hands of the mayor and the city council members and to just, you know, to bang that gavel and to, to be up there um, in, in front of that room. It's, it's a special room and it holds a special place in our town. Well, we rapped about global citizenship, helping each other out and helping the environment. Yeah, help like beyond our community. Yeah, it's like, for example, Nepal, how it got shook by an earthquake once the earthquake happened, Mount School set up a charity to donate money because they said that one dollar here equals five meals in Nepal. And we like sent a lot of money to Nepal. Well, Mount is Magnet School. There's a very great staff, has awesome, um, awesome stuff like the science lab and the garden. <laughs> and we're getting, um, well, we got a grant last year that gave us money. And we put it into like the computer lab and the science lab because we were changing into a science and global citizenship. Mount also has 3D printers, like down in the science lab in Mr. Rowley's class. And if you go to Mr. Rowley's class, he's trying something new, a hydroponic gardening. So he has like these buckets that just feed water through without any soil. And the plants are actually growing. It's been growing for a while. Okay. Um, I'm Connor Quest. And I'm Timothy Quest. And we go to Mound Elementary School in Ventura. And we performed at City Hall and was mayor for a moment. I am Rachel Nicole Patricas, and I am mayor for a moment at Poinsettia Elementary. I started out with Mrs. Becker, and then I had Mrs. Bucher for third grade, and then I had Mrs. Soski and Mrs. Graham for uh, fourth grade, and now I'm having Mrs. Gallup. I have a younger brother, his name is Andrew, and he is in kindergarten over there right now. Rachel was a, a natural selection. I, I put it out to the teachers, and they unanimously thought that she would be a great choice to represent us. Kindness to me. Kindness is selfless. It gives with no expectations. Kindness is forgiving. And kindness is simple. It is sun-baked fur against my leg. Kindness is a deep farewell embrace. Kindness triumphs over envy. It's melted sunlight that you soak in and then let trickle back out. It spreads with smiles and encouraging words. Kindness. Take a moment. Pass it on. 
I love to play basketball, and my grandfather played basketball, my mother played basketball, and I'm going to play for a club team called the Ventura Breakers soon, and I am learning Mandarin Chinese. I have a lot of friends here, and I love the playground, and I love that there's a big field and a big basketball court. The play structure behind us was installed last summer of 2014. Uh, my parent group uh, works really hard to raise money for the school. So we desperately needed a new play structure. They raised about $70,000. Dr. Wade is really cool. Everybody's really nice here and there's not a lot of bullying and the teachers are nice and it's just a great school. I I'm glad to hear that Rachel doesn't think that bullying is a problem at Poinsettia. We have very minimal bullying here because of the fact that we teach kids that it takes pride to be successful here, which is having a positive attitude, responsibility, integrity, doing your best, and empathy. Bullying to me would be probably someone hurting you or saying something to you, especially behind a teacher's back, that isn't being stopped and keeps repeating itself and it makes you feel really icky and bad. Um, we have the district's elementary autism spectrum disorder program. Because of that, we have a large staff. We have a lot of paraeducators in addition to our 25 teachers and opportunities for us to teach diversity. The kids are nice, special needs kids here, and I just think it's really important that people should be nice to them because those kids do understand it if you're not being nice to them or being really short with them or anything like that. I think kindness is just, it should be given to everybody, even bullies. It's just, it should make you feel good to be give, giving it. My name is Gavin Graves and we're at Portola Elementary. In first grade, I had Mrs. Chilcutt. And then in second grade, I had Mrs. Reef. In third grade, I had Mr. Hanson. Last year, I had Mrs. O'Neill. And then this year, I have Mr. Meyer. The man for the moment was chosen through an essay. A couple of staff members, uh, including myself, uh, chose the, the, the best one, and it happened to be Gavin's. He understands what it is to give. He understands what it is to be selfless, and, and that's what stood out when I read it, and, uh, and that's what I agree with as well. So it really hit home with the people that read it that ultimately made the decision. And we're excited for him to represent us. What compassion means to me? To me, compassion means many things. It means to be kind, caring, and many more. First, to be kind means to be nice to anyone no matter what. Like if someone trips on a crack and falls, it would be kind to help them up. Same thing if you accidentally trip someone, help them up. Also, if you see someone alone, it would be kind to be their friend and play with them. Last, to be caring means to care for other people in your life, not just you. Like on Christmas, Christmas is not about what you get, it is about what you give. Most kids always are like, I want that. They should care about their friends and family. Say you were talking to a friend while walking and you accidentally bump into someone and they fall down and are hurt. If you would be nice enough to help them up and get them an ice pack. In conclusion, this, that is why to, to me, compassion means being kind, caring, and always treat people how you want to be treated. You know, compassion is what what, what ultimately drives us to create a better society. You know, if we, if we care about others and helping, then that will be contagious and extend and hopefully set a good future for not only our generation, but generations to come. Well, the grades go from preschool to fifth grade, and we have a pretty big field, and it's a very fun school. We learn a lot of stuff, and we sometimes do lots of like art projects and stuff. Portola is family, is community. I mean, those are the, the pieces that stand out. It's also one, because of that foundation, uh, it allows us to work together collaboratively as parents, teachers, students, uh, and the entire staff to produce the best quality education that we can. So it's all, uh, it starts with that family and com uh, community piece. I live with my aunt and my mom, and well, I do some chores and stuff, and they help me with my homework if I need help. I play baseball and basketball. And in baseball, I usually play pitcher or first base, and in basketball, I'm either point guard or center. When I grow up, I want to be a, a basketball player. My name is Gavin, and I'm here for a moment at Portola Elementary. My name is Livia Vertucci, and we are at Will Rogers School. I like math, PE, 
language arts, and science. It's a kind of everything. Olivia is a very intelligent, poised, charming young lady, and she has some real um, ideas on how the world should be. Olivia was selected by her teachers as mayor for the moment. I think if we asked the whole staff, they probably would have came to the same conclusion. She's a well-rounded young lady, and we're very, very proud to have her. She's a gem of a student. Good evening. My name is Olivia Vertucci, and I am a fifth grader from, from Will Rogers Elementary School. Here are a few sentences that describe my artwork. We make comics with dialogue in fifth grade, so I chose to make one where a character understands how another one feels. Empathy. It's putting yourself in another person's shoes and knowing what they feel like. Empathy means when somebody has a loss or somebody's feeling sad, I know exactly how they feel. When we were learning about Syria and 9-11, I felt how they felt like getting losses and like being really scared of people. I really cared about it when some of my classmates just paid attention because they had to. Olivia shows empathy well beyond her years. She's empathetic towards her friends. She's protective of her classmates. She's also a protector of the planet and she's out there helping with the recycling program and making sure that the younger students learn how to recycle and the importance of it. My mom's Rachel. I have a little sister that goes to this school. Her name's Adeline and she's in second grade. And my dad, he likes to ride motorcycles. When I'm not going to school, I like to play with my sister, play my trumpet, and go ice skating. Each and every Friday, we race against other schools. I like math, PE, language arts, and science. It's a kind of everything. Outside, we're learning about agriculture. We're growing things we could eat. So maybe lettuce or tomatoes? Yeah, things we could eat. We have iPads, and sometimes we come out here and we scan the plants, so there's these little tags on the plants, and we could see if they're drought tolerant, or how much water they need, or if they're poisonous or not. My name's Livia Vertucci, and I am mayor for a moment. My name is Bryce Hickerson, and we are at Citrus Glen. My family, we used to live in Illinois, or Rockford. My mom and dad, they started a church here. Its name is Mission Church, and it used to be a movie theater. It's growing pretty big now. I have two sisters, Hayden and Tyler. One is 13 and one is seven. I love playing soccer. We, all my sisters play soccer. I like forward, and I like I like playing the, all the positions, and most of my family lives in Kentucky. My family is a huge Kentucky Wildcats. We love the Kentucky Wildcats. Bryce stands out. I mean, to me, I just know her from being an outgoing person, wanting to be involved in the school, wanting you know things to happen. Not only is she kind-hearted, you know, not only is she compassionate, she pushes herself to do her best all the time. We have like kindness slip things, and. It's if you see someone doing a kind thing, you write it and then you put it in a bucket. All the fifth graders wrote about understanding, like not like understanding a math problem or something. Understanding. In my opinion, understanding means that you're forgiving, tolerant of others, and sensitive to other people's feelings. There are a lot of examples of understanding. One example is forgiving. Do you remember when you got in a fight with your friends or family? At the end, you always forgave them because you love them, and you know that they were just angry. Another example of understanding is being tolerant of others. Have you ever been in the car, and your sister is singing, and it's annoying you, and you just let her be? Well, that's being tolerant of others. Being tolerant to others means to be respectful to others. Like when your sister sings, it may not be your favorite noise, but if you said something, it might hurt her feelings. My last example of understanding is being sensitive to other people's feelings. In other words, if, you, if your friend's grandpa had, ju had just died and your grandma had died two years ago, you could go comfort your friend because you have been through this and you know how it feels. It is important to be understanding because if you don't understand, then you may not forgive, be tolerant of others, and you may not be sensitive to other people's feelings. If you are not understanding, you may lose family, friends, and relationships. That's what I think understanding is. 
You know, it is one of those things that they ask our students to write an essay. You talk to any of her teachers that she's had, you know, through the last years, they're just like, this is an amazing child. My name is Bryce Dickerson, and I am mayor for a moment at Citrus Glen. I'm Megan Parkhouse, and this is Juana Maria. I have five members of my family. My older sister, Jocelyn, my younger sister, Hannah, and my dad and my mom. Megan was selected because she represents that well-rounded um, student. She has some arts, academics, she has that people person piece. She's a good leader on the playground, in the classroom, and in choir, and I have no doubt she will be an excellent mayor for the moment. As a student at Juana Maria, I see many examples of Cardia's behavior. I see students taking turns on the playground. I see students using their manners, saying please and thank you. Students are courteous in class by not talking when others are talking, by raising their hands to speak, by listening, and by not interrupting. To me, courtesy means to be considerate, polite, and kind to others. I do my best to be courteous by sharing, being polite, thinking of other people's feelings, showing patience, including others, and treating people with respect. Courtesy is important so that other people don't feel left out or unwanted. In a community, it is important to work together. This requires politeness, cooperation, and respect. I am proud to be a part of this community. As Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh said, a little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. School is, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. It's mostly in the middle for me. I like language arts and math and reading and um, art projects in class. My younger sister, Hannah, she's um, eight and she's like basically following my footsteps and she's in Ms. D's class. I think Juana Maria is a, a little glimpse of old fashioned mixed with some new. It focuses on well-rounding the children to be good citizens, good productive, responsible citizens in our community, you know, music, art, technology, um, reading, math, just being a, encouraging lifelong learning. I like to go to the beach and go exploring and go like hiking and um, I like to have family time and watch movies and I like to do choir after school and choir, my mom, she directs it and we always do a performance every year it's like a pirate and mermaid um, play. I'm Megan Parkhouse, mayor for a moment at Juana Maria. I'm Nina Maxwell and we're at Sunset School. I have a six-year-old sister and my brother is eight. Both my brother and sister go here. It's really fun to go here because the teachers are nice, Miss Sims is awesome, and it's just really fun to go here. Our mayor for a moment is Miss Nina Maxwell. She's a fifth grader here at Sunset School and she is an amazing young lady. As a student, I have to be responsible. For school, I have homework assignments, classwork to finish, and essays like this to write. At home, I have to finish my homework before I can do fun things like practicing gymnastics. Some of my chores at home include doing my laundry, cleaning my room, and taking care of my dog. Since I am the oldest kid in my family, I have the responsibility of watching out for my brother and sister and being a good role model for them. My parents have responsibilities too. Working to make money to pay for food, clothes, and a place to live is a big one. They have to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner and help us with homework. Although right, the school, activities, and everywhere else are very big duties, they still have to take us where we need to go. It's my parents' responsibility to raise us to be good people. As their daughter, I have to respect them, listen to them, and do my best in school. That is my responsibility. It's not just turning in your homework or doing, doing chores and stuff. And you're responsible even when no one's looking. She's a diligent student. She works really hard. She's a voracious reader who has a vocabulary well beyond a normal fifth grade student because of her love for reading. I like to read. I like the Harry Potter series, and I like the Little House on the Prairie series. That's also a good series. We're the only um, K-8 school that is a traditional campus. So we have middle schoolers here. 
The middle schoolers help the younger kids. They're good role models and they set up for things like the Family Fun Festival. Obviously we have little teeny five-year-olds up to 14-year-olds and so that creates an interesting dynamic that we have to make sure we've set really clear expectations and what we've observed by setting those expectations is that not only do our middle school students rise to that challenge, they excel. We do skate night at Skating Plus about three times a year. It's really fun because I like to skate. It is a fundraiser for our campus, which is great. Those funds generally go to support our outdoor education camp for fifth grade. We go on like kind of like a camping trip and we like stay in cabins. Um, some percent of the money goes to our school. I'm Nina Maxwell and I'm mayor for a moment at Sunset School. My name is Isabella Castillo and we are at Montavo Elementary. It's an arts academy. We focus on arts while learning. So let's say if we're learning about science, we also learn like how to make that into art. I like to play soccer. I've been playing since I was five. And I have a sister, she's eight years old, and she likes to do gymnastics. Isabella Castillo, she is a smart, humble young woman. She's incredible. Isabella stood out because she really got the theme of cooperation. What is cooperation? Cooperation is when a group of individuals work together for a common interest, or in this case, teamwork. As Michael Jordan said, talent wins the game, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. I believe that this is true in sports and in life. Why is cooperation important? It is good to work with other individuals because everyone has something to contribute to the team. Everyone has their own strengths that, can, that others can benefit benefit from. As Marco Jordan mentioned, a leader, leaders can do a lot, but a team can accomplish great things. Well, cooperation is teamwork. And I think that's very important in life because it helps you with different things like working. Like soccer, you rely on your friends to pass you the ball and, you, and you, they rely on you to pass you the ball. I've learned that from a lot of people. Like my mom, I've seen her like, well, sometimes at night where she's working on her homework and she's always working hard. Our two-way immersion school is a, is a um, additive bilingual program and it starts in kindergarten where our students spend 90% of their day in Spanish regardless of their home language and 10% of their day in English. We go outside the box. Like Our arts academy is not regular. We do different things. And we, our dual immersion, they teach us more than just like, Spanish, how to work. They teach us how to, what we do in like Mexican cultures. It's a great way to engage kids and have them think creatively and um, engage in creative problem solving and innovation and we feel it's a really important step to preparing them for life. I'm Isabella Castillo. I'm mayor for a moment at Montavo Elementary in Ventura, California. My name is Tomas Leonel and we are at Sheridan Way. I like about school that you get to learn new stuff. I like to study science. You get to learn all about like the body and because I, when I grow up I want to be a doctor. I have two brothers and my mom and my dad and my grandma and my grandpa and my uncle and my aunt. They help me go through school and tell me like to never give up. Tomas is a great student. He definitely represents what a Sheridan Way Dolphin should be. He is a student who's always respectful. He comes to school just ready to learn. He's kind. Kindness can get you farther in life because kindness and respect go hand to hand. You won't get in too much trouble if you respect others. Kindness is important to me because it's a nice way to treat others. Every morning we say the pledge for success. In the pledge it says I will treat others the way I would like to be treated. I like this part because I think it is important to treat people with kindness. I say this because this is how I would like to be treated. 
The first reason I feel kindness is important is because I will help you. It will help you get further in life. The second reason is because you won't get into problems with other kids, and teachers, and other adults. Um, he's definitely a leader and someone that we can always count on doing the right thing. And I'm sure during your interview, you also heard a lot about what are the rules at Sheridan Way, what are the things that we do here, and I have the right teachers. I have the right. I have the parents support, I have the teacher support, we have a lot of community agencies that have been so generous with their time and their support. The music program here at Sheridan Way is a partnership with New West Symphony. It was something that we started four years ago, five years going on five. We have professional musicians that come after school and work with the students. All of the instruments are provided for them and the instruction. We practice every Monday and Wednesday and we do concerts and I play the saxophone, alto and tenor. I pick the saxophone because I like jazz. The mural, it has all the three languages we speak and it shows the music symbols because we do music and then we study three languages here at Sheridan Way, English, Spanish and Chinese. Ni hao wa chao, wang wu long, it means hi my name is Tomas. My name is Tomas Lonel and I'm mayor for the moment at Sheridan Way. I'm Jane Armstrong, and welcome to Lincoln Elementary. Lincoln is a really great school with amazing teachers. I've been here since kindergarten. They have really great programs like art and PE. I dance at Ballet Academy Ventura. I've been there since I was two, and it's hard to work, but it's really fun. Hi, I'm Karen Senesak, and I'm the principal at Lincoln Elementary School. Jane herself exemplifies an honest, forthright person. She's very composed, self-assured, and um, we're just proud to have her represent Lincoln. Um, I wrote a poem about honesty, um, the things you have to be when you're honest, which is like kindness, and you have to be thoughtful. Honesty by Jane Armstrong. Honesty is being thoughtful. Honesty is being caring. Honesty is being true. Honesty is being you. Honesty is all around us, from every girl and boy. Honesty is easy, all you must do is try. As long as we are living, so is being kind. As long as we are living, remember to have an open mind. Never strive to be perfect, only strive to be kind. Honesty is your key to unlock your mind. You must remember always to be honest, even when other people are not. Your honesty is very appreciated, even when you feel it is not. Honesty is easy. All you must do is try. When I was little, I'd go to the city council meetings, and like we we would hear um, the mayor for a moment, and my dad would be like, "Oh, I really want you to be that one day." My mom, she is a human resources consultant, and my dad is a developer, and. He created the Art Fence, which is a great way to showcase and fund um, our art teacher, Miss Felino. And when the parades come down, like the St. Patrick's Day Parade and all those fun parades, instead of seeing a chain link fence, you get to see kids' art. We're so really lucky to have that, and that really was designed to be a stream of income, um, apart from our families, hopefully some corporate sponsorships as a way of not only showcasing our art and our school, but also providing a stream of income so we can continue to afford the extras that we think really make a well-rounded education. Our PTA has been very supportive monetarily of supporting both PE, music, and art in our school. The PTA and a bunch of parents are involved and the PTA helps us with our, raise money for our school dance and lots of fun events. Art is the big one that has been supported here for many years. And we have an art teacher who teaches between 20 to 22 lessons a year, and they also support a short-term music teacher so that we can have a program with our kids. We have so many amazing teachers, and I've gotten an amazing teacher every year. My name is Jane Armstrong. I'm from Lincoln Elementary, and I'm mayor for a moment. <laughs>